Hi everyone, it's Marcy Bezeker. I am a coach and manager with Fun Stampers Journey. Why don't you come on in, have a seat, and let's get crafty. Hi everyone, it's me again. So I just did the gel press um, class and, or not class, but video. And I wanted to kind of see what I wanted to come up with with the rest of my prints. So this is the card that we just did on the video with, we used the heart gel press. And then here are some of the prints I cut down. And I have some extra pieces for other items, but th these are the ones that we have here that we did. And this one here. So what I did is I'm going to take this one here and it's the pretty kind of pink, pink one. And I'm going to send it to my granddaughter. And so what I want to do is find a, I was going to do it on white. Yeah, I think I'll still do it on white. So what I did is I took some of our mirror gold paper and I'm going to put it as a frame. Of course, I cut out the middle part because um, I don't want to waste the gold mirror paper. So what I did do is I cut this heart out of the center part. And this is the medium size heart to this set, decorative heart dies. Again, that glare, decorative heart dies. Okay, so that's what I used for this. And I used the medium one. And of course, for the rectangle that I cut out, I used our journey rectangle. So it's right here. Okay, so that's what I used for this. Now, once I did it, I decided, okay, so what I was going to do is kind of put this on here and have the gold as a trim because I've got the gold shimmer um, in the pink paint there. And so but then I thought this heart looks really, really big. So I kind of don't want it that big. So what I'm gonna do is cut off the scallop part around the outside. So carefully, I'm going to just snip that off so that it kind of looked like it wasn't even there. And I'm gonna tuck this heart anyway behind some of our gold and neutral twine. So I might have to fix some of the little edges a little bit, but it'll be easier once I get the scallop off. So I'm just gonna kinda try and get that off. And let me switch, you can kinda see what I'm doing here. So I'm just cutting this part off here, okay. So I'm snipping all the way around and then I'll try and smooth out those little edges to where you won't even tell it was there once I can get the scallop off because it's kind of hard to do it while it's right there. Okay, so there it is. But look at that. You can clean this up a little bit and use it for something. So of course I'm not going to get rid of that. Okay, so. I'm just kind of feeling with my finger and seeing a couple little spots. So it just kind of looks smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like, you know, our cards are art and a piece of artwork. And so there's, you know, a lot of creativity that goes into them. And some of them might be, hey, we could use this piece or that piece. And, um, I'm okay with that. Okay, so now I think that's better. It's not so big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, use the white liner tape to go around the edge of this. So I'm just going to put on the very edge because you know that this is hollow in the middle. We cut that out. And so I'm going to go around the very edges 
So make sure it has something to stick to on that frame. And I'm using this because the glue, I don't think it, I don't think it's going to hold as well as quickly as I want it to in a video. So I'm going to Okay, so I'm going to take these off. And then that way, I went a little over on the little tape there. So there we go. So now I'm going to attach it here so it's on this surface so I can peel it back up if it's not exactly what I want. But I think that's going to look good. There we go. All right. So now I have that. So again, now on camera, the last time I didn't do such a good job keeping my hands on camera to show you my ribbon, my bow, what I did. So I'll show you now. So I keep a tail of the ribbon off and I do my triple bow. Three, and then I just kind of go out a ways, like not arm length, but it's kind of hard to, I guess I can measure it. I don't know, 25 inches or so. And I just kind of guess you can kind of figure that out. And then I go around, put my string on the inside. Okay, so I have it hooped three times I put the bow over and now I'm going to take it back through like you're making the knot okay so there you go you still have this over here hanging here so you're going to go like that and then that's going to be your bow you can spread it out once you get it all on there but so what I want to do is I'm going to put this like right about here and I'm going to go around hopefully three times and I have plenty. I did it a little tight, so I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. There we go. Now I bring this over. And make sure all your strings are lined up. And then I bring this one around over everything to kind of hold that down and then I tie this in a knot so you still got to do your triple bow and then I'm going to tie this in a knot again okay so you got to do a triple bow you have your tails because everybody likes to have their little tails on their ribbon so I'm going to cut that I'm going to keep those because these are kind of long and I do use them because you can still take this and do you know even just a little bow like this if you need to stick it on something so and then just fix your bow so no wasting of twine not when it's this long and then you can work it out and Make it your bow. Okay, so now what I want to do is maybe like just tuck my heart in something simple, and then so let me think about that for a minute while I put this aside, and then I'm going to bring in my stamp and all these little pieces. I always keep them, and I'm going to. this stamp my stamp oops let's see I kind of I kind of did press hard so let me see yep not going to be a problem I don't think so let me bring my amazing real fast and get that cut out 
I love my Amaze machine. I love my Platinum. It's big enough to take care of everything I cut. All of my steel roll dies, everything eight and a half by 11. Love it. But you gotta have an Amaze to move around and use for classes or videos or just the smaller things that you need. And there we go. And there is my die, my stamp, and, my, and I always pull this off and I keep this. All right, so I'm going to wipe my stamp and my die and put them back over here. Okay, so now I'm bringing the card back in, deciding what I want to do. So I have this cute heart, which I think I can just tuck there. And maybe the sentiment. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Okay, so I do know that I want to pop this up. So we'll do that. And I like to put it on this and the middle just to just a, a little extra security. And this doesn't look like it's warped or anything with all the paint, so I'm not going to need one in the middle. All right, so this is kind of how I go about my cards once I get some gel presses and some different things I'm like okay now what I'm going to do with it well I really like the gold on the with the gold and so I like the natural twine with the gold and I really like the lovey sentiment I don't know I like the heart I'm just not sure what I want to do with it and I think I'm going to tuck it in there but I think what I might do oh I have an idea. Hold on. So, oh, here we are. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hate that. Okay. So now that I'm realizing that the pink does not really match, so that's not what I want. But I might do like a little cluster of flowers here. So let me see what that looks like. And these are the new Sweet Blooms. And they're in our new mini so i could do there's a couple different kinds of flowers so maybe mm, i don't know maybe yeah maybe just a cluster of three that's kind of cute that's a levia on there with some flowers and a, hmm. what do you think this is the fun of creating is you're like doing it and you're like mm, I don't know I don't know if I like that yes I like that no I don't like that and then it's like do I want it hmm Or do I want it up here? Well, I don't know what I want. I kind of like it tucked. Okay, let's let's do this. I'm going to take this and put a little bit of glue. I just want this to be a quick little video just to kind of give you some ideas of what you can do with stuff that you've already you know you have some extra prints or some other prints that you want to do and how you can come across deciding how you want to do it but this is all all crafters I'm sure you lay stuff out you're looking at it you're not quite sure what you want to do with it but we're going to kind of try and figure it out 
So I do want to tuck this back here. I know that. So I'm going to tuck that right here. Okay, so that's tucked. And I have this on here. And I think what I might do is on our candy drops, I have two different colors that I think will match well. Three if I add white, which I might do. But I want to add a medium. I use these for another project. And so I bought a lot of them because I love them. I mean, they're perfect for centers of flowers and just different, different things. And hmm, I think I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a white. But I really like them because there's all these different colors that you can choose and you can use. And okay, I think that's that's fine for now on this because I wanted to add those and I think I might even add a gold one or two we'll see all right so let's think about the flowers I'm trying to piece it together again maybe just draping down maybe I'm better with that Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Let me see. All right, so I think I'm going to put the larger ones here. And then I'm going to, I have a half a one here I can put. And I'm going to put a half of one. All right, so let's put this together. Sometimes you just have to put it on there and just hope for the best and think that just because you think it doesn't look good or it's not exactly what you want, once you put it, all right, so what I'm going to do is add some glue there, some glue right here, and maybe some glue. So they're kind of cascading. So those will be drying. Now, oops, I have a little glue squeezing out right here. So I'm gonna just take that off. Now you guys get to see how, how I create and how sometimes you're just like, mm, no, yeah, no, I don't know. So that's kind of what I have so far. Of course, I can never make it simple. So I'm gonna add a little bit of more gold because that's just how I like it. Splatter, sparkle, splatter, sparkle. Okay, and then I think what I wanna do is add some of my favorite sparkle silk. And I'm just going to add that on here. I just had an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I am going to try and add Journey Glaze to these flowers. Normally, if I add it to something like this, I do it ahead of time and then glue them on after they're completely dry. And I don't know if it's going to work on these little fabric flowers, but we're going to try. I like Journey Glaze. It hardens them up. It, it, um, it will harden them up. It will make them shiny. I'm not going to go like crazy doing it, but I just kind of want to hopefully put a thin coat on them. Okay. Oh, my head. Sorry, my head's in the way. All right, so now I decided I'm going to put some journey glaze on them. And this one's still moving around a little bit, so I'm going to 
we'll put in the middle so it stays where it's supposed to be. And, and journey glaze is also glue, so it's going to glue some of these down and see how the glues kind of run into the middle and, and that's okay because I'm going to put some sparkle on them. And so you're not really going to be able to tell that they're all running to the middle. But that's why I kind of like normally doing this before I put these on. So that they're kind of laying flat and they dry completely, but that's okay. All right, one last little leaf here. All right, let me take a look, see if there's any placing. Missed. All right, so I think this is kind of where I'm going to go. And now I have some sparkle. I probably do sparkle cuts. I'm a huge fan of sparkle cuts. So I'm going to take this with my. my media tray here and I'm going to hold my card up and put some sparkle sparkle cuts. Now it looks a little more mixed media ish. I'm loving the sparkle cuts. Ooh, that was fun. Okay, now I could I could add some silver, uh, some little silver stones on there. So let me let me put this away, and then take a look. At some gold on here. Did I say silver? I meant gold. Let's see what it looks like. I don't want it to be. <laughs> I say I don't want it to be too much, yet I keep adding stuff, and I know that's just how I roll. Um, add a little gold there. And maybe another one like tucked in the flower. I like it. All right. So there I am going a little crazy, adding and adding and adding. But this is just came off the gel press. I did some color. I wanted red, which I finally did end up with red. Um, this I added some red, but I added some white uh, whipped cream for inker. And so that came out a little too red for me. I mean, too pink for me for what I wanted and so I changed it up and so but I really liked this color that's just I already had the card base ready to go I always I already had it red and that's kind of what I wanted to do and but I really wanted to do something with this pretty pink one because it has the gold in it and the flickers so let me see if I can swap this out Okay, so this is the original one from the first video that I was doing. I wanted a red, and but in trying to get the red, I decided I wanted to do some white and some red mixed, and I thought it would come out a red, but not quite as light. And this is, um, I well, if you watch the first video, you'll see I added some pink and some sweet berry, and I just kept going until I kind of got what I wanted. But in the meantime, this is what I got, and I really love this. It's kind of an opalescent pink. It's got some some gold pearls in there and shimmer, and I just really, really liked it. So, and I'm really happy with how the flowers came out and everything. And once they dry, they'll be nice and stiff, and um, that added just the touch that I wanted. When they were first just white, 
not so much. But now they've got that sparkle on there. I hope you can see them okay. But really cute. And I could, because I'm me, I could gel, um, do some glaze on the Love You and have that really pop too, but I'm not going to. I really want the, the flowers to kind of be um, that focus there, but the hearts. And so anyway, so that's the second card, press gel press number two that I ended up doing. And I don't know my glare. I'm never going to get rid of this glare. I'm sorry. But here it is. You can kind of see the, the different color opalescent tea colors on that one. And then again, the original one. So that was fun. Thanks again for joining me, you guys. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick um, update of what I ended up doing with this other card. And I just think it's super cute. So um, that's the fun for today. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for joining again. Please like and subscribe. You can see my future videos. And I would really appreciate it. If there's a product that you um, have seen with Fun Stamper's Journey and you want a little bit more information on it, or would like me to do a, a demonstration on it, just let me know, write it below, and I will uh, get into uh, that and get a video ready for you. And also always my website's up above. If there's anything you wanna look at, you can go to the website up above on the right. It says catalogs, you can look page by page, see what um, amazing products we have available, and we can go from there and, um, get some other videos going for you on products that you're interested in looking at. Thanks a lot and you have a great day.